It is August 30th, 2020. I'm trying to get a good picture of what the sun looks like when it's coming up in a very smoky environment. One of the things I will lament today is that it was five years ago today that I spent my first day at home after over a week in the hospital and I remember my daughter having come and uh, fed me toast and coffee, you know, the essentials, before she was off, I believe, to work. She doesn't work anymore. She doesn't bring me toast or coffee anymore. It's like she went off on the deep end and no matter what I do, I can't bring her back. The reason I'm showing the lawn is because it's time to work on some things, but the first thing I'm going to do is find the YouTube video of the guy who explained to me how to reboot the system, the um, sprinkler system, to make it work. It worked. Okay, here's more of the sun. It's coming up. I'm not sure if a camera can capture how hazy this thing is. All right, so. What I wanted to let you know too is that I'm waiting still to hear back about getting my um, getting the pigeons out from under my solar panels. You can see the mess they've made. So Tesla is uh, has contracted with a third-party vendor who needs to clean up before the panels can be put on to protect it. What I will say as far as Tesla goes, their board meeting annual meeting is in approximately three weeks, September 21st, and I have chosen to vote no for the three-year term for Elon Musk, yes for Robin, and abstained from the man that I've never heard of before. I'm hoping that other people will actually think about the matters before they vote. I think it's essential. The only other thing I'll say is that uh, August 26th forward was a time of testing for me. It was to test God's Word, to test my own faith, my own belief, and turns out I actually do have faith. Yeah, the tumor is gone. More later. Today I will be grateful for overburdened apple trees. I will contact the company that Evan gave me the information uh, to. And I will listen to Adam, who told me how to save my tree, how to save my walkway. And that's by giving the darn tree enough water, not relying on the sprinkler system. I will not blame myself for dead peach trees uh, because they have a lifespan. And they've been alive for many, many years, and now they're dead. Oh, that's going to happen to me too. I'm going to sidetrack just a little. Here are some pictures of me at the El Dorado, and these are just a few of the many that I have. What I will say is that this whole brain tumor was God's way of rescuing me from a situation that would have been even more devastating than this brain tumor if I had not been talked into taking unnecessary chemo by Dr. Aaron Bowman. The fact of the matter is, is that the way the El Dorado went, they eventually would have squeezed me out because it didn't matter to them what I'd done for them in the past. It was their current pocketbook. They were squeezing out uh, good employees that were making too much. Yes, they made me make too much, and I was grateful for it because um, things are better now because of it. All I will say is that the prophecy, the prophetic dream that their Kino manager, Tom Waters, had many years ago about the casinos going dark has come about. If I had been there, even when it went dark, I don't think I would have been in as good of a position financially as I am now. I'm not rich, but I'm not poor. God has provided everything that we have needed on a regular and daily basis, and guess what he gets? He gets thanks.